Good evening, I'm Russell Baker. American movies of my youth usually ended with marriage. This perpetuated the fairy tale that life came to a thundering halt at the altar. After that, all people did was live happily ever after. And while eternal happiness is nothing to sneer at, it doesn't make a very gripping story. So the message from Hollywood was that marriage was a pretty dull way to spend your life. When European movies started arriving in America 50 years ago, we were suddenly exposed to the astonishing idea that what happened after marriage was far more interesting than Hollywood had ever let on. Some of the most exciting movies about life after marriage were made by the Swedish director Ingmar Bergman, whose own adventures in love, marriage, divorce, fatherhood, followed by ever more love, made him an authority on the subject. We're now watching The Best Intentions, Bergman's story of a romance that turned into a marriage that was just as interesting as the courtship. Bergman was 73 when he published this script, and in it he reached back to the year 1909 and imagined a love affair between the young man and woman destined to become his parents. Last time we saw them meet, fall in love, part in anger and jealousy, then make it up. They can now marry and try living happily ever after. In real life, which is what interests Bergman, this is harder than Hollywood made it sound. There we had Cinderella and Prince Charming. Here we have a struggling clergyman whose character has been hardened by a harsh and bitter childhood and a spoiled and elegant young woman from a well-to-do family. She's about to discover that what follows marriage is more complicated than happiness ever after. The Best Intentions, Episode 2.